Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. I am about five minutes late, six minutes late. Anyway, I'm back. I have been, let's see, the 13th was the last day I did this. On the 14th, we went and celebrated my husband's birthday in, at Los Primos in my car would not start, so it spent the night at Los Primos. And then on the 15th, we were working on my car, and then I don't know what happened to me last night. I have no idea. I think I started cooking and I ran out of time. But anyway, I'm here tonight. I've already cooked dinner. I've already eaten dinner. I'm going to have to go. probably not going to be on here for very long because I need to go feed our son, but glad to be back, and we are going to finish Psalms 119 tonight. And then I don't know what we're going to do. We'll see where God takes us from there. I don't know. Anyway, I want to finish that one little part, though. All right, well, let's jump into some prayer. I hope that you had an awesome day today. I did. My car is still broken down, so my gracious mother-in-law came and got me and took me to Walnut Springs because I needed to go there and brought me back. And she bought me a mini blizzard, too, so it was a good day. And bought Seth a milkshake. So God is good, even in trying times when we don't have what we normally have at our disposal, like a car for me. I'm very independent and I just want to go jump in my car and go where I need to go, get done what I need to get done. But sometimes God will pull us back and go, okay, you know, not today. We're going to have to do things different today. But He, he supplies all of our needs. And He supplied me with a wonderful, caring mother in law. Okay. Now let's jump into some prayer. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you for provision and protection, for blessings, God. We thank you that you are the great I am. You are the great Jehovah. You are on your throne and you are in control, God. There is no God like you. God, we just thank you that you are our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter in the storm, and you are our strength and our refuge. God, you are mighty and magnificent and powerful, and you are the righteous judge. And you will judge all unrighteousness. God, you cannot be bought, you cannot be threatened, and you cannot be compromised. So people need to call upon your son's name and be saved now. And we just pray that they would, God. We we thank you that you are um, also loving and caring and kind and compassionate. You are trustworthy. You are faithful, God. And you are patient. You want none to suffer. You want none to perish, God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray, God, that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would open their hearts, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved, God. We pray for all the lost, God. We pray for a Jesus movement that would move across our country and go throughout the world, God, that cannot be stopped, that is allowed, God, and proud about their Savior. God, we pray for the prodigals to come home. We just pray for them to return. We pray for them to repent. We pray for them to have their relationship with you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit reconciled and made new. God, we just pray for all the disasters that are going on, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, the um, flooding, the droughts, 
all kinds of disasters, God. We pray that the people in the midst of these disasters, that God, you would meet their needs, that you would send people who would be the hands and feet of Jesus, that you would send people that would have the loving compassion of Jesus. God, we pray for Afghanistan and we pray for all these other countries that are in uprising, God, for their freedom. We just pray, God, for the Afghanistan people that you would protect them. God, that you would help them to find a way to either escape their country or to hide. God, I don't buy into what I heard today. I don't buy into half of what I hear on the news these days, God. God, only you are truth. God, your word is truth, and you are truth. And God, we also pray for all the people that are sick right now, God. I know so many that are sick. I just pray for healing. I pray for strength, God. I pray especially for my daughter, God, that you would relieve her from her nausea, from her headache, from her climbing fever, God, that you would help her, give her strength to eat, God, give her strength to move around, God. God, we just, I pray for all the other people that I know that are sick. God, I just pray for healing for them and that you would give them strength, that they would feel your healing, God, that they would feel your hand, that they would feel your presence. I pray for um, all of them and their families, God. I pray for strength for their families. I pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. I just pray that you would um, give them peace, comfort, and strength, and that they would feel your presence. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, oh, I need to sneeze. I may have to sneeze in a little bit. Okay. Well, let's read. Actually, this is yesterday's. This is yesterday's. Jesus always. Today was about God's chosen people. But I think this is good uh, from yesterday. So I want to read it first. I didn't do a song share today. I spent... I don't know. I don't know where my time went today, but it's gone. It's like gone. Okay, I will bless my people with peace. This biblical promise is for everyone who trusts me as Savior. So when you're feeling anxious, try praying, Jesus, bless me with your peace. This short, simple prayer connects you with me and opens you up to my help. Peace and trust in me are richly intertwined in my kingdom. The more you lean on me in confident dependence, the less fearful you will be. If your heart is steadfastly trusting in me, you need not be afraid of bad news. Because I am both sovereign and good, you can be confident that this world isn't spinning out of control. There is plenty of bad news in the world, but I'm not wringing my hands impotently. I am continually at work, even in the most devastating situations, bringing good out of evil. My kingdom is about transformation, and I invite you to join me in this endeavor. Live as a child of the light. Together, we will draw others out of darkness into the light of my transforming presence. I think that last sentence is what I really liked yesterday. I mean, I loved all of it, but I really liked that because I have been, I've been praying for the people in Hollywood and I have been praying for some of these singers that are, their music is so bad for our kids and our younger generations to watch. But I've been praying for them. 
because only God knows, only God knows where their heart is. Only God knows what's in their mind. Only God knows whether at the last minute they will either return to a relationship with him or they will denounce him. Only God knows. So I'm going to pray for them because I have learned some things about Hollywood and Disney that there are people that started out as innocent children that were very much taken advantage of for fame and fortune. And I blame their parents. Why wouldn't parents protect their kids? Why would fame and fortune be more important than what some of these kids have been through? And I'm not going to go into detail, but I know it's truth. I've heard their stories. But anyway, I'm going to start praying for those people that are lost in darkness. Because Jesus is the way. And Jesus is the truth. And Jesus can pull them out of that darkness if it's not too late for them. I don't know whether their soul has been sold to Satan or not. I don't know that. But God does. And so I trust him. And I'm going to pray for him. And people may go, well, that's a lost cause. Well, who knows? Who knows? Somebody might be drawn back to God if we pray for them. There is not one person that is not able to be saved. If that is God's plan for them and if if God has chosen them. My chosen people, my chosen people, I want to bring you peace. There's no peace and happiness in these people's eyes. There's just not. There's not. All right. Well, let's start in Psalm 119, verse 145. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, Save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning, and cried, I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from the law, thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Consider mine affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Please plead my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. So again, God's word. How wonderful is God's word? His commandments, his, his judgments, his precepts, his testimonies. How wonderful is God's word? How powerful is God's word? It is so powerful. So, so powerful. So let's move on to 161. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word, as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. I do too. I hate and abhor lying. I hate it. 
It is such a waste of time. The truth is always better. Always. Always better. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. All of God's commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee. And let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. So that is the end of Psalm 119. And it is all about God's word and about his testimonies, about his commandments, about trusting him about the power of his word and um, the peace great peace have they which love the law and nothing shall offend them you know this is peace this right here is peace it is um, education instruction power mighty, magnificent, miraculous. It is full of all these things. God's word is full of all things. All right. Well, we are moving right along. If you have any comments about any of those scriptures, then please, please, Put them in the comment section. Well, hello, my friend. Hello, my friend, Josie. So, we are going to do the salvation through Steps to Peace with God. Because we talked about peace. We talked about peace in here. And we talked about the Word of God as peace. So I think it fits. It's kind of sticky. I don't know how it got sticky. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Are you doing good? Are you doing better? Been praying for you, sister. Pray for my daughter. She's not, it's just like hanging on for her. Are there a certain amount of days that after that certain amount, that certain day it gets better? Okay. Steps to peace with God. Are you doing okay? Is your cough better? Most people have an idea of what they believe it will believe it will take to be accepted by God. 
After all, who likes the idea of exiting this life without being on good terms with Him? Thankfully, it's possible to be certain that you've made peace with God, but the way must be chosen during this life. Here are the steps drawn from God's book. The Bible, what we've been reading. We've been reading God's Word, the Bible, God's book. Understand God's purposes, peace, and eternal life. Step one. God loves you and wants you to experience peace and eternal fulfilling life. The Bible says we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, Romans 5, 1. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting have eternal life. John 3.16 I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. John 10.10 10. Why don't most people have this peace and the fulfilling abundant life that God intended for us to have? Well, step two, admit the problem. Our sin and separation. God did not create us like robots to automatically love and mechanically obey Him. God gave us a will and the freedom to choose. The first man and woman chose to disobey God and go their own willful way. And, he, and we still make that choice today. This results in separation from God. The Bible says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 For the wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 People have tried many ways to bridge this gap between themselves and God. The Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Proverbs 14.12 your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God. Isaiah 59 2. No bridge reaches God except one. So, step three is discover God's bridge, the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose from the grave. Though he was God's sinless son, he became a human took our place, and paid the penalty for our sin, bridging the gap between God and us. The Bible says, For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 Christ suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, and he might bring us to God, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5, 8, uh, Romans six twenty three. Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day. 1 Corinthians 15, 3-4. God has provided the only way to forgiveness of sin and eternal life, but each person must make a choice. So embrace the truth. Receive Christ. That's step four. We must trust Jesus Christ as our Savior and receive Him by personal choice. Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him, and he with me. Revelation 3.20 I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14.6 The Bible says, To all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John 1, 12. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. John 3, 36. So what is your decision? 
Will you receive Jesus Christ right now and trust in him alone for forgiveness and eternal life? The Bible says that the only way to find peace with God, the Bible says that's the only way to find peace with God. Admit your need, your need that you are a sinner in need of God's forgiveness. Be willing to turn from trusting in anything else for eternal life and trust only in Christ. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross, came back to life from the grave, and is your only way to heaven. Accept Jesus' offer to forgive your sins and come into your life as your Savior. You may want to tell him in words like these. So I'm going to say this prayer. And if you want to be saved today, then please repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for making it possible for me to find peace with God. I believe that when you died, you were paying the penalty for my sins. I now receive you into my life as my Savior, so I can have forgiveness and never-ending life from God. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So this was a crossway.org um, tract. And if you invited Jesus to be your savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's book of life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his son. Because Jesus is the only way. If you want to grow closer to God, then read his word. We've been talking about this for, I don't know, four, four nights, not consecutively, but read God's word, pray to God, and praise God. Ask God to send you to a, a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching ch uh, church that believes in Jesus Christ. Profess that you have invited Jesus into your heart and get baptized like Jesus did. Okay, well, it is time to do the blessing from God. I have, I've got to go feed our son. And it is in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So I pray that God will give you peace. I know it doesn't look like there's peace out there in the world right now. But there's always peace through Jesus. There's always peace through Jesus. We can always find peace. We can always be thankful and grateful in the midst of our storms. Because we're never alone. We'll never be alone again. And it may look like evil is winning right now. But Jesus is victorious. And through Jesus, we are victorious also. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. My friend Josie, she's back. Do you have any prayer requests, Josie? What do you want me to pray for? So hot in here. Shut the door. Prayers for everyone. Okay. 
Are you, um, do you still have your cough? Oh, your friend is better? Okay. We'll praise for your friend then. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and pray. God, we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and for all that you do. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you wrote it so that we can learn so that we can read your instructions so we can be encouraged so we can um, see all the miraculous things that you've done God and we can share those stories with others it's just full of so many good things that we need God so that we can follow Jesus God, I just lift up Josie to you, and I just pray that you'll continue to heal her body, that you will give her strength, God, and that you will restore her body to what it was before she got sick, and that you would just, she would feel your presence, God. And I pray for my daughter. I pray the same for her, God, that you would restore her body to what it was before, and that you would help her to get over this cough and this um, fever, these body aches, the headache, the nausea, God, that you would just help her to feel better and give her strength too. I praise you that Josie's friend is better. I praise you that Mike is better. And uh, we just pray... For anyone else that is sick right now with this disease, there's so many people. I pray for Vicki Bird's mom, God. I pray for healing for her, too. There's just so many people that are sick right now. I pray for their families, for strength for their families, God. I pray for protection for people that are not sick, God. I pray for blessings. I pray for provision, God. Thank you for provision and protection and blessings, God. I pray for Josie's family, her sisters and her brothers and their families, God. I just pray for protection and peace and provision and blessings, God. I just pray for um, Josie's children and her and their children, God, the same for protection, for peace for blessings, for provision, God. We just pray for the lost, God. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus. And we thank you again, God. I pray that you would bless Josie with a good day tomorrow and just help her to be stronger and stronger. I pray that you would protect Austin, God, and that you would, um, I pray for this school year. For these kids that have started back to school, I pray that this would be an awesome year for them. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm. Uh, mm. Well, my child has broken into my office. I had the door, sh door shut. He has, he's made a breakthrough. So I think he's telling me that he wants to eat. Can you say eat? <laughs> say eat. Hey, say eat, eat, eat. Well, he's grunting, but he can actually say eat. Eat is one of the words that he can say. So, I think I've done everything that I needed to do here. So, um, have an awesome rest of your evening and an awesome tomorrow and uh, much love and cyber hugs until I see you again. Good night. All right. Still praying for you, Josie. Restorative healing strength. Love you too. All right. Good night.